Yeah. So <clears throat> the body scanning part is what, how should I say it? The body scanning part of the meditation is just to make you aware of your emotions in the body. The main magic of today's meditation is a self-love. So let me tell you a story how I got into this concept. So two years back, uh, before I discovered Bashar, I discovered Teal Swan and I was watching her videos very heavily and she was talking about self-love. Of course, I was not ready for it. And she gave, she's so creative. She gave so many permission slips to develop self-love. I tried some of them, but it didn't work. And I forgot about it. At that time, I was heavily using her methods of parts work and shadow work. I had read some of her books and uh, some of her courses. Then I discovered Bashar. And then I realized the single most important thing that Bashar keeps talking about. One is the excitement formula. And the second is anything that is stopping you from your excitement or your belief system that needs to be inspected and you need to release. This is the message I got. This is my perspective again. This is the main message. And I think he brought my focus and attention fully into belief systems to inspect my belief system. And uh, anyway, sorry, I got I lost uh, my train of thought. I went into beliefs. Uh, coming back to self-love. Again, I discovered this book by Gay Hendricks. He's a psychologist from Harvard this year. And I, it's a very small book. The name of the book is Learning How to Love, love Yourself or Learning to Love Yourself. You can Google it up. So um, that book reminded me of how simple it is. And that book is amazing. So we are going to use this method today. And... I have used the self-love method to heal some of my illnesses. The main reason I'm doing this meditation is to show you, you can do it too. You have no idea about the power of self-love. So the second story I want to share to motivate you is all our thoughts and negative emotions create our illnesses. This is something I realized in Feb and back after that, I read multiple books which confirm the same. You can re, uh, read uh, Louise Hay's book named Heal Your Body. I think that's the name. It has a detailed list of which negative thoughts and negative emotion creates which kind of illness in your body. And she's so accurate and so specific. I highly recommend that book. The other two books which you can do like ancillary reading for uh, one is Metaphysical Anatomy by Evett Rose. That's the first one I read two years back, which introduced me to this idea that we create our own illnesses. And the third is by Dolores Cannon's daughter, Julia Cannon. Dolores Cannon is a legendary hypnotherapist who invented quantum healing hypnosis technique, UHHT. So in uh, Julia Cannon's book, the name of the book is Soul Speak where she received information from the extraterrestrials, which also would give a detailed mapping of what kind of illness is created by which kind of negative thoughts and negative emotions. So you can research. Uh, I believe there are many bo other books on that. So the whole point of doing today's meditation is how you can heal your body with simply love. So the story I wanted to share is I had a... I suddenly I had developed a pain in my left knee uh, and that happened like one month back, one, one and a half month back, two months back actually. So it, it just happened like a dull pain. Every time I would walk, I would have a pain in the knee and I was like, why am I feeling this pain? So I used the method, um, and, I mean, uh, the mapping used in Louise Hay's book uh, to find out why I'm experiencing the pain and uh, it, it showed that there is a, so the leg represents moving forward in your life. And when you're experiencing pain, it means you are fearful of the future and you don't want to move towards your future. So I was like, why did it suddenly develop out of the blue? Like it was not there before. What thought created it? And then I discovered the thought that I was making a decision about my life, which I was not very confident about. And I was afraid how it's going to turn out to be. 
and the moment i had that thought i had created the leg pain and how do i know i'm correct in that because right after that i started doing this meditation and i sent loving energy and acceptance to that part which created that thought my leg pain which was there for like 2 weeks suffering from leg pain putting hot water bag ointments and what not and it was not healing it was not reducing also in pain it was just there it went away in 5 minutes and it didn't come back 5 minutes i did this exercise for 5 minutes just 5 so what do you feel when you hear this honestly honest thoughts only I have some thoughts I can share, you know, like being a massage therapist. Let me just close the door real quick here. It's noisy. So I, um, you know, early on realized that there were a lot of uh, ailments that were related to habits. You know, sometimes, yeah, like thoughts, beliefs, and um, because you know everything affects everything so you you know your uh, ideas your beliefs your thoughts are affecting uh, the emotions and the physical body so to look at from that perspective where everything is interconnected so you will have eventually you know uh, body manifestations of your habits and thought forms and uh, i had experienced a lot because being a massage therapist you know uh sometimes we would touch certain areas and someone could you know have a a, a will to either cry or bring something up and sometimes they would talk about it you know oh my god you touch here and i felt that because happened. you are activating that memory that memory is stored in that part and when you touch it yeah. with your hand and press it some it's like you are squeezing it out yeah yeah so you know people can sometimes get into the awareness of that by you know be receiving the touch and and then maybe work uh from that perspective rather than treating the pain or the discomfort as a physical only a physical so there are certain yeah. yogas also now that you mention it some asanas which actually makes people cry i there is this thing called uh, pigeon pro pigeon pose i think i the name of the asana is huge so i don't remember the name so some people have reported crying and like out of the blue when they do this asana and hmm. now all the dots are like getting connected with like how they are interconnected who yeah. did not believe it i want to hear the controversial thoughts who doesn't think this works i want to hear your thoughts i wouldn't say i don't think it works I I'd like I I my only thought was like you know it's fine working on the the beliefs that we can reach through conscious um introspection but there's a lot of unconscious stuff and we never know really when you get to the bottom if there is a There is a, a way to find that out very good so that yeah that's the bit I'd like to sort of get clearer yeah to feel yeah. to feel into not understand yeah. the mind yeah, yeah. there is a way to do that in fact there is a complete process so uh like i used to have spondylitis back in jan and i worked on these unconscious beliefs that created it it took me 6 7 months to heal my spondylitis completely just by working on my beliefs so i thought that it would be beneficial to do a proper course on this like walk you through the entire process process of not only like healing your body but also releasing your limiting beliefs because it has two fold function when you're releasing your beliefs you're also healing your body whether you realize it or not so it's like two in one so in this meditation i'll not be able to go into that much depth because there is a lot to cover in that so yeah that's that's a very good point what what other thoughts anybody else wants to add I have something to add. Um so the last several years I've been focusing on my body um and healing through nutrition. And I find it interesting um what you just said about how there's a correlation between releasing the beliefs and then healing at the same time. 
And I've sort of experienced it from the reverse where I can do a cleanse focused on releasing toxins from my liver and emotions go with it. So I completely agree. They are interconnected. Definitely. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. All, all right. So let's do it. Let's see what comes up. So let's focus on our body. We'll do a quick body scanning meditation. Put off your phone into silent mode if you haven't already. It's going to distract you and you'll never be able to connect deeply to your body. Take your time. Settle in. Find a position where you would feel comfortable. If you are not comfortable sitting, you can switch off your video and lie down. Find a position that will help you relax, be it sitting or lying down. Take deep belly breaths. Deep and long breaths. When you inhale a lot of oxygen, Expand your belly consciously. When you are exhaling, squeeze your belly in. Now, notice the bodily sensation on the tip of your toe. What sensations do you feel on the tip of your toe? Gradually move your attention to all of your toes on both the feet. Stay there for some time. Notice what sensations you are feeling. Inside as well as outside on the skin. Inside. Now slowly move your attention, both your feet. See what you are sensing, both on the inside and outside of both your feet, your heels, the skin on your feet. Bones, the blood, whatever you can sense. Gently move your attention up to both your legs, your calf muscles, the skin on your leg, your bones, your muscles. What do you notice? What sensations do you feel? Is there tightness, pain, discomfort, tingling? What are you sensing in that part of the body?
move up your attention now to your knees and thighs. What bodily sensations do you feel on your skin, inside, your bones, muscles, blood, tissues? What do you feel on both your knees and both your thighs? Just be aware of the sensation. You don't need to do anything. Just observe. Now move your attention up to your hip area, your pubic area, your butt. What sensations do you feel? And feel. Bring your attention now to your belly, your abdomen. What do you feel? Bring your attention to your chest, to your breast. Notice what sensation you have both on the inside as well as the outside. Any tightness, any tingling, any tension, any pain, any discomfort. Now, gently bring your attention to your back, starting from your shoulder to your lower back. Scan that entire area. What bodily sensations do you feel? Gently now bring your attention to your throat, your neck and shoulder area. Gently observe what sensations you feel in that area. Is it tense? Is it tight? Is it relaxed? Is there discomfort? Gently move your attention now, your face, the chin, the jaws, the nose, the cheek, your eyes, your forehead, your ears. What do you notice? Are they relaxed or are they tense or tight? Bring your attention to your head, 
back of the head, top of the head, front and side. What do you sense? Gently observe. Now, bring your attention gently to your hands, your armpits, your hands, your arms, your fingers. What do you feel? Now, gently open your eyes. Now we are going to practice loving ourselves for those who have noticed some kind of discomfort in any part of your body, any part of your body any kind of pain, any kind of, if you have or already some kind of illness that you already are aware of and you're experiencing discomfort and pain, whatever may be the case, we'll be connecting to that part which is in pain. And we are going to send our loving energy to that part. First, let's find out what is creating that pain. So, if you can see my hand, this part is called the karate chop point in EFT. This has connection with your small intestine meridian. I'm not going into the details. That will take too much time. When you connect or tap gently on this part and try to connect with what is causing the problem, you'll get an answer. The answer may come as a voice in your head or visuals or bodily sensations, or feelings, or anything that I cannot even imagine. Whichever way the answer presents, presents itself, accept it. Don't doubt it, even if you're doing it for the first time. So, find whichever part is in discomfort in your body, any part that you have an ache or pain. For those who don't have any known illness or no known pain, you can can you do it? You can find out the cause of some past illness that you had, which is now recovered. It's gone, you have fully recovered, but you can find out the cause of the past, any illness that you have in the recent past, preferably something that you remember. It will work still. So, gently tap this portion of your hand with three fingers, this portion below this line on the side of your palm. You can tap on any hands. Gently tap. Gently. Just tap. And ask what is causing this pain or illness? Gently tap. Continue tapping. 
and wait for the answer. If there is no answer, continue tapping and asking again and again. Put some pause in between for the answer to appear. What is causing this pain or this illness? Focus on that specific point where you have the pain or the illness. You can even name it. Say if you have a pain on your knee like I did, what is causing the pain in my knee? If you have stomach problems, digestive problems, you can ask, what is causing my digestive problems? If you have a headache, ask, what is causing the headache? Any ache, any pain, any discomfort, any illness, just ask, what is causing this? And wait for the answer. Keep tapping. Ask again if there is no answer and pause for some time and see what comes up. Ask with intent again and wait for the answer again. Ask again if you have still not received it. Pay attention to your body or in the mode that the answer appears. Trust whatever comes. Now, before I move into the self-loving part, I just wanted to touch base and see if some of you are stuck or if you have not received the answer before I do the next step. Has everybody received their answer? If not, Yes, yes, me. you have received the answer. Okay. Who hasn't received the answer or who is having doubts? I really don't know what it is. Don't be shy. Oh, all of you did. That's amazing, actually. Great. We will now do the second part of this exercise, which is loving and accepting that part of you that is in pain. I'm not going to go into the details that itself will take one hour. So now that you know what is causing the pain, silently in your mind, say, I unconditionally love and accept you. And notice what happens to that pain. Say it. Again, even if you have difficulty accepting and loving yourself, even if you don't mean it, it doesn't matter. It will still work. Just say it silently in your head to that specific part like this. Say, my knee pain was because of me having fear of the future. So you can frame it this way. The part of me that has a fear of future, I unconditionally love and accept you. The part of me that is afraid of the future, I unconditionally love and accept you. The part of me that is afraid of the future, I unconditionally love and accept you. Keep saying it in a loop. Don't stop. Silently in your head. Keep saying it in a loop. Whatever the cause is, say that the part which is experiencing this pain, I unconditionally love and accept you. Your feelings are valid. 
if anybody was in your place, they would have felt it too. It doesn't matter what is right or wrong. Whatever you're feeling is valid. I unconditionally love and accept you. I'm here with you. I'm not running away anywhere. Come out. Share your pain with full intensity with me. I'm going to create more space for your pain. I'm here with you. I'm holding your hand. I'm sitting with you. Share it with me. And whatever you have to share, I unconditionally love and accept. Even if I don't understand, it doesn't matter. I unconditionally love and accept. I unconditionally love and accept you. Whatever is causing you pain. And notice what happens to the pain. Don't stop saying it. Continuously say it. I'll give you some moments of silence to continue doing this exercise. Repeatedly keep sending love and acceptance to that part which is in pain for whatever reason you have. If you want to go one level higher, you can also create the sensation of love and send that sensation down to that part of the body. But if you can't, don't fret, don't get anxious, do whatever you can. Simply saying it silently in your head will also work. Say it in your head, even if you're not saying it loudly. If you wish to say it loudly, you can too, whatever you wish, but say it. Explicitly say it. Even inside your head, you have to hear your own voice or whatever way you say it. Say it in a loop repeatedly over and over again. I'll mute myself so that you can do this exercise in silence for some time.
No, I can't hear you properly, Momita. So, because I'm talking very softly. Um, okay. Is it any better? Yeah. Okay. I was talking very softly. What did you feel? I felt like more whole. Any resistance? Be honest. Any resistance? Anything saying, no, you don't. No, you don't love me. Mm. Not in that way. I got myself kind of distracted a little bit on my thoughts instead mm. of focused. So what were your thoughts? Like in the, I mean, I obviously it's personal but what do i mean is like uh uh was it related like to ordinary this? things like you know oh i have to tell the cleaning lady something you know like those things came into my mind uh, kind of distracting me from like so the folk. then yeah so if that happens try to say it out loud because when you hear your own voice you will not be able to mm -hmm. get distracted the voice mm, okay. will stay you grounded. So I usually do it silently in my head. I'm present with that emotion. So I bring the entire attention and focus on the part that is actually in pain. And that allows me to stay focused. But if you're not able to do that, say it loudly. I love unconditionally love and accept the part that is in pain or whatever okay. the reason was. Yeah. That will help you stay grounded. But what did you notice in general? Like where first of all were you even in pain like i just gave uh like i assumed there might be some aches or pain in the body but sometimes you may not have any mine mm -hmm. i do have like this like i kind of thing mm -hmm. but i don't even know what it is it's like sometimes it gets red and you know, uncomfortable, like itchy. It's not really ask, other... Did you find allergy. the answer? Yes. It's like bring the focus within. And when you sent love to that part, what did you feel in the body? Um, I feel like more integration of honoring that message. Instead of like, just like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like, you know, I'm taking to heart kind of thing, you know, honoring. Mm -hmm. So when you say this, the discomfort will go down. And if you do this repeatedly, it will be completely healed. I have healed mm -hmm. many times. I've healed my own fever with just this, nothing else. When you know the cause... You can heal yourself. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm going more into detail as to how you're doing it. Because in case if you are like either getting distracted or somewhere you're stuck or maybe something was not clear, then I can fill in the gap. Anybody else wants to share your experience? What did you experience? I don't mind sharing. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so when I did the scan, I sort of was picking up on my sort of solar plexus, I think, that sort of area. Um, but I think what I picked up on, because I got an image, was, was to do with like expression of emotions and fear mm. associated with that that goes back to my childhood. So I was picking up on mental and, and emotional thing rather than physical thing mm. um and when i was going through i was speaking it out loud and repeating and repeating and repeating and quite quickly i just started to relax within myself the end of you know all my in 
it, everything started to relax so it was good did you feel an expansion in the body um a re- not so much of an expansion but definitely a relaxation so I, I i'm sure that if i was to pra- do this more often and more regularly um that expansion would become more obvious yeah i think we did it only for two three minutes when i do it i do it for at least how much ever time i need like five minutes 15 minutes it doesn't matter so I remember there was this time I had some, I think I had a headache or something and I was doing this exercise. Not only the headache reduced, I, I noticed that the, like, and obviously I was not sitting in front of the mirror, but like as if my face's skin was like crunched like this up until that time. And when I started doing this as if the skin was expanding like yeah 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 yeah. that sensation of expansion i cannot describe it in words i don't know what expanded but i felt that sensation of expansion Mm. and this also will happen with your solar plexus because there are times when i'm angry i feel directly in my solar plexus and when i do this that i love and accept my anger there's an expansion happening there and the anger goes away and the physical pain so every emotion Negative emotion brings a physical pain with it. If you pay attention to your body, the yeah. entire point of this body scanning was to make you aware of the pain. Yeah, yeah. My my image. I saw myself on a large inflatable floating on water. So that was symbolic of the supporting on top of the emotions. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so were you clear exactly what thought created that sensation in your body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Like that, I just wanted to make sure that you were clear on it and it's not something vague. You knew that exactly this thing is causing it, like that kind yeah, of yeah. clarity. 100%. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. Great. So you were asking me some things as subconscious. This is how you find it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it amazing? It is. 